Fist of Champions. Mr. Wilson. Good morning, Cass. Current temperature is 68 degrees. The time is 6.01. Morning sequence will now commence. Enjoy your coffee. Thank you, Cass.
move your car to your assigned space. Where? Where's my spot? Excuse me. <laughs> somebody, uh... Somebody want to tell me where the hell I'm supposed to park? Please move your car to your assigned space. How are you doing today? My name is Tony Minot. I'm the rookie in new business research. Tony Minot. Oh, I had to, I had to park in an unauthorized spot downstairs. I know, that's a security violation. Oh, great. Right. My first day. They're not, well, they're not going to tell me or anything, are they? Not if you're lucky. Well, could, uh, could you help me out? Could you call down there or something? Because I, you know, I tried. My, the damn machine will not take my card. An unauthorized card. It's another violation. I. Working fine now. I'm sure you can put it in a little slot all by yourself next time. Could you please tell me where I could find human resources? Linda Ferrello's office. The computer says you stay here, you stay here. I'm not paid enough to argue with it. Could you, uh, give me a favor? Could you ask the computer where I could get a cup of coffee, please? Welcome to the Intercorp Tower, the world's smartest building. We take pride in presenting the first totally automated, user-friendly building. All of the tower's functions, climate, security, fire, communications, Tony? Hi. Hi. Welcome to the land of Oz. Yeah, gee, this place is wild. I feel like a flea on an elephant. Well, don't worry. After a couple of years, you'll feel even smaller. Oh, good. So, are you excited? Full of enthusiasm? Raring to go. <laughs> what? You look so different in grown-up clothes. It's a revelation. Well, we'd better get to work. ...can realize its fullest potential. Wait a second. I got uh, a little something for you. Tony, you didn't have to do that. Oh, I just wanted to thank you for, you know, getting me the job. And I don't want you to worry. I'm not going to screw it up. Oh, it's wonderful. Thank you. You don't want to wear it? No, I can't. I mean, I love it, but it's not exactly office wear. Office wear, the dress code. Tony, we talked about this corporate culture stuff over at Sally's, remember? Yeah, well, look at these shoes. These are official loafers. You know, slippery, uncomfortable, and expensive. Yes, but you're still a little colorful. Little Hill wants black and white. I'll bet you didn't watch that orientation video I sent you, did you? You know, I tried to. Couldn't do it. Tony, don't do that. What? You'll get a security violation. Excuse me? Intercorp is a snake pit of rules, and every time you break one, you get a security violation. What would the house record be? I'm just curious. Pardon me? There must be a house record. What would that be? 20 violations, 30 violations? See, it helps me to have something to shoot for. Hope you're kidding. Intercorp's what's known as a smart building, which means That's that... That's okay, I know. What's known as a smart human. I, uh, I know my way around a computer. Not this one. The time is 8.32. The temperature is 68 degrees. I love a building you can talk to. It's nice. That's Cass. Cass? CAS, CAS, short for Cybernetic Access Structure. That's Little Hill's nickname for the main computer in the basement. Cute. Can I get a basketball score if I want it? Clippers 122, 
Pistons 97. Clippers 20th straight win. You can get the weather on Mars if you know the code. What is the weather on Mars these days? Hot, dry. Yeah. I, I, got, I got cousins here. Hmm? Mm-hmm. 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 You know, too much security makes people very insecure. You're young. You'll get over it. <laughs> Can't beat the view. I hope you'll be okay here. I promised Sally I'd worry about you. I'm gonna worry plenty for both of us. I need your ID card. Yeah. Dead. Uh, I got it. This is, is way too neat. It's gonna make me nuts. Okay. Cast me to voice print. Introduce yourself. Wait, well, just talk. <clears throat> Hello, Cass. Mr. Minded here. Call me Tony. Tony? We should probably discuss our expectations of each other. Okay, and... that's enough. Oh. We don't want to scare her. Now ask her to play some music. Cass, I'd like you to play some music, please. <laughs> Um, I'd also like you to make coffee, Cass. <laughs> Cass, you're, uh, you're amazing. Thank you. She can do anything. Really? Cass, could you, could you scratch right, right where my, where my thumb is? Right there. Okay, smartass. Time to do a little work. And if you have any problems, I'll swear I've never heard of you. Uh, Tony, no. Don't do that with your card. What? No, you don't floss with it. You don't clean your nails with it. You're dead around here without it, I swear. That's why I keep mine in here. Uh, Tony Minot, Gretchen Wallace. The entire department depends upon her. Howdy. I'm the only thing around here you can't get on your computer. <laughs> Mr. Littlehill wants to see you right away. Why? What did I do? I didn't do anything yet. He likes to spend time with new employees. Yeah, about one minute. <clears throat> Morning. Nice to meet you, Mr. Little Hill. Mr. Little Hill. Little Hill. Mr. Little Hill. Little Hill. Little Hill. Little Hill's office is just down here. Mr. Mino. Mine. He's expecting you. I can wait if you. Make yourself comfortable. Mr. Mino. It's mine it. And you are working where? Uh, new business research. Natural gas production in uh, southeast Oklahoma. 1987. And on. And is that your ultimate ambition? No, uh, not really. <laughs> but I'm happy to be here for now. You're a little old for management training. I suppose you'd rather I made you a senior vice president. Can you do that? <laughs> no, I, you know, I don't, I don't honestly know that I'm, I'm ready for that yet. Then you're fired. I'm fired? If you don't think you're worth very much, then you're worthless to me. I can't afford to have worthless people around me. I want you cocky. Ambitious. I want you arrogant, Mino. It's mine, it, sir. Work on this for me. It's empty. Of course, it's empty. I want you to fill it up.
with ideas. You shall promise that apple before you renounce our worldly ways for a few years. Let's see if you can rekindle that promise. So this means I'm not fired? Not yet. Thank you, sir. Oh, Mino. You're not a musician anymore. Get yourself a decent suit. Get yourself a fucking chair. UCLA Cash. 83. Quick question. North Carolina, you see, these games, you don't Stanford, really go to them. You just know Darkness, the scores. 48. You've never been Sasser, to a game, I'm guessing. 62. George Town. <laughs> haven't been anywhere. 57. 215 hmm? college basketball games were played yesterday. What did you say? You know, you Cass, to you. To you. See, Please now you're not, you not finishing your words, Cass, and it's very hard. It has been dissolved. Big, what, what? For your I don't know safety and comfort. <laughs> Ooh, Cass likes that. Security violation. We, we, we. Continued tampering may damage the elevator control. See that? And is therefore unfair to your fellow worker. You know what the funny the thing is, Cass? I can do this all day. Depends on all of us. But I won't. Please cooperate. Oh, have reached a non-working extension. Tony, Please do not on. attempt to leave a message. What was that? Yeah, Mom, it's, uh, it's me. I'm here. Hold on. Yeah. Tony? Hi. No, that? it's this computer. It's more bells and whistles. Just calling to wish you well yeah, Hold on. Job. You're breaking up. No, Stop. You have reached Stop. a non-working no. extension. No, I can't, can't hear you. Hold on. Another adventure? In Norway what? today, the annual reindeer roundup what? began. What? Why are you telling me this? What did you say to me? Let's try this. Hello? Tony? You there? Tony? Yeah, sorry, it's just confused. I'm not hearing you. Hold on one second. I'm going to call you back. Has occurred. I'm calling you. Call hang again. up. Hang, hang up. Operation hang up. Hang up. Hang up. Mom. Cat. Both of you, hang up. A system error has occurred. Ah, Cat. You, you are like a truly horrible blind date. How'd it go with Little Hill? Isn't he great? Oh, great guy. Well, in the corporate world, he's known as a genius. I'm sure he is. Do you want to hear something very cool? What? Spreadsheets with a beat. <laughs> that's interesting. Mm -hmm. How'd you do that? Oh, that's that's a secret. Mm -hmm. Little music chip from home. You never know. Mm, great. Maybe next time Little Hill cuts an album, you can play keyboards. Want to try it? You're not going to break it, by <laughs> That's great. You better put it back the way it was, though, before you get caught. Ooh. 
I got news for you. This is not the fourth grade here. Wrong. If I'm a bad boy, they're not going to make me stay after school. Intercorp is the fourth grade. Only there's no recess and the grades count for more. Are you scolding me? No, I'm not scolding you. I feel scolded. Look, I hardly know you. I stuck my neck out to get you this job and you're giving me grief. Sorry. If you're working late, the building goes on night mode and the security gets really brutal. All righty. Hello? Earth to Tony. Tony, I'm taking my clothes off now. Tony, I'm totally naked. Tony. What? Never mind. You don't need an orientation. Okay. You better not be calling to cancel. No, no, I'm leaving. I'm walking out the door, I swear. Can't wait. Bye. Mr. Littlehill wants your opinion on these deal proposals in Oklahoma. Great. Tell him uh, I'll be on it first thing in the morning. He wants it right now. Like, immediately. Oh, I, I got a date. <laughs> I don't think he gives a shit. He's keeping me after school. <laughs> Good night. Tammy, I'm leaving, I swear. It's 7.45. If I don't see you in 15, you can play with Mr. Happy all by yourself. What? Tony. Damn it. The clock, the clock is playing games on me here. That's lame, Tony. Really? The boss threw some stuff at me last minute. I'm gonna, listen, I'm just gonna run these up to him and I'm, I'm out of here. This isn't Denny's, you know. I'm not open all night. I sick friend tonight. How'd you get an elevator? I couldn't get one to save my life. Do you have clearance to be up here tonight? Sure, I guess. I don't know. You didn't get an orientation. I need clearance to ride the elevators? Let me have your ID card. In or out? 
far I'm going up. Executive. Security has been restored. The time is 8.53. Ah, we know. There you are. Mr. Little Hill. You have answers for me? I was just on my way up to see you, but these, these elevators are screwy. I mean, you must have had trouble yourself, right? Because you took the stairs. I always take the stairs. You know, I think uh, Cash is going a little wacko. Don't embarrass yourself. She was installed by the two top system designers in the world. <laughs> I'll bet you skip your night mode orientation. <laughs> Actually schedule the review session. First thing in the morning. Cass is fine. You're the bug. <laughs> yes, sir. Thanks, guy. Projects you can recommend? Yeah, well, thing is, long distance, you know, being here, it's very hard for me to actually get a, a good sense. Don't of hand this. me that. I see 500 deals every week. It all comes down to who's got the barriers to say yes or no. I think you're scared to make a decision. Yes, you know, need more information. What is that? Hmm? Is that a nervous condition? old musician's habit. Huh. I used to play a little horn myself. Did you really? Yeah. Yeah. Still play? No. That was just in college. I only did it to meet girls. <laughs> Japanese silk. Very nice. On the bedchamber of the Emperor Hirohito. It's nice. I want simple yes or no answers on these projects tonight. Is that a problem for you? I got a date. You see? Women love musicians. <laughs> Cancel the date. Go back down to your office and bring me those answers by the time I finish my song. Mr. Littlehill, one question. Why me? You must have 20 experts on this stuff. Yes, well, I know what they think. You, you might surprise me. And if you don't, I'll never ask you again. The temperature has been 
adjusted for your comfort and safety. Son of a bitch. I want you arrogant.
message for extension 3302. Tony, you can't stand me up. Listen, lover boy, you're in big trouble. If I don't get an explanation, and I mean get it quick, you're through. I don't know. He seems kind of flaky to me, you know? Just like the kind of guy I gave up. Absolutely. You're moving up in the food chain. You date vice presidents now, even senior vice presidents. I don't date people from work. Well, who can blame you? It's a totally sensible policy. Behind the line, take three steps, slide. What? Have you ever gone out with him? We grew up together. I knew him before his voice changed. I have seen him naked. You have not. I have too. Say when. When? You know, Tony gave me this really wacky pen. Kind of as a thank you gift. What a beautiful pen. Yeah? Why don't you wear it? That's not me. Come on. It's you, all right. It's the Linda I know. Now I feel like a jerk. Why? Well, I left him there all alone. I mean, he can't even take a pee without tripping the alarms. I think I better call him. What do you say? It can't be that bad. Oh, it was some strange message about the sauna. It's probably a prank, you know? He's the type. But I'm gonna go check it out. Was there anything I can do? No. I'll call you later. Bye. Okay, see you later. In the southern Sahara, plagued by seven years of drought, tribesmen chant to the rain gods. Their chants often last for days. <laughs> in that orientation.
1108. It is great to be back. Linda Ferrillo, this is Tony. Mine I hope you're getting this. Get off the elevator. A French medical journal revealed today. Okay. I'll meet you outside Little Hill's office. But don't go in. Twice as many single women die of heart failure as married women. I always take the stairs. about the explosion. I didn't leave any message. Cass, Cass is flipping out. Cass killed Little Hill, okay? It's been after me all night. The computer killed him? That's right. It's going nuts. Everything is going nuts. I almost got chewed up in the air conditioning. And the air conditioning's trying to kill you. That's right. Hey! Hey, hey! I got out. I escaped. I came back to get you out of here. Well, thanks a lot. We can call security now, and he can call the cops. Wilson right? disappeared. Wilson is dead. I promise you. No, we're going to take the stairs. We are dead if we get in this thing. I just took this. It's perfectly safe. No, it's not. You let go of me. You can you take can't. the stairs if you want, but you let go of me now. Go. Damn it, Tony. Will you get in here? Cass is not going to hurt you. Tell that to Little Hill. Fine. Take the stairs. Oh. What exactly did he say to you? What? Look, I know Little Hill could be an ass. You argued, he fired you. What do you think? I killed Little Hill? No, he didn't like my idea, so I just blew up his sauna. Come on! I don't know what to believe. Ram a rail. Here we go. Relax. Emergency power will kick right in. What was that? That is what I've been telling you about. That's strange. The car should go straight to the bottom if there's a problem. You know, your faith in this building would be very touching. It weren't so damn dangerous. That's it. Now I'm pissed. 
Excuse me? Just go like this. I'm gonna climb up there. What are you gonna do with the car? Just do it. Right. Nobody crowned you king, you know. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Hold All right. on. Let me get under here. ladder. Okay. Definite bug in the system. Oh, that's no bug. That is a swarm of locusts. me when we get out of here. of American women said they believed men lied when they said, I love you. If I die, you're going to take my sweater? Actually, I had my eye on those lovely pearl studs. What is going on here? I don't know. Maybe somebody spilled OJ on Cass's chip. Maybe the computers are just pissed because we have all the fun. I don't know. gets off and we're stuck here in the southern sahara plagued by seven years of drought tribesmen chant to the rain gods oh, oh no not that anything but that please Bound, 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 don't go around tonight. 
It's bound to take your life. There's a bad moon on the rise. Are you any good? I beg your pardon? As a musician, I mean. Uh, I can't tell. You make fun of my singing? No. I wrote a song once that got to number 98 on the charts. Really? Why'd you take this job? Because I wrote 500 other songs that didn't go anywhere. And I got tired of being like the idiot cousin. I had friends slipping me 20 bucks and giving me their old furniture. I didn't want to be 50 years old and living over somebody's garage, playing high school proms. So you're happier here. It sure seemed like a good idea at the time. I think this building is trying to tell me I have made a big mistake. Well, if I could sing a note, you wouldn't catch me here. I'd live off of weddings and bar mitzvahs for the rest of my life. So what are you doing here? I mean, what, what's your excuse? I have a very high-paying, prestigious job. Which makes you deliriously happy. I took it for a year to pay off the bills, and that was five years ago. So, why don't you quit? Just quit. I've seen you in action. You could work anywhere. <laughs> yeah, well, it's easy for you to say. Uh, you have a talent. My options are limited. Can I be honest with you? Talent is not your problem. You, you, have, a, you have an attitude problem. <laughs> yeah, you, got a, you have a very bad attitude. Look who's talking. <laughs> oh, that's cruel. That's, hey, that's... That's just not fair. Just drown her out. I see a back. Come on, help me out here. Sing with me. Oh, I, I sing like a foghorn. Nobody cares. I don't care. Just come on, help me out here. I see. <laughs> Some people sing, other people listen. I am a listener. Yeah, listen. I, I sing right. in the shower and the water just okay. stops running. Listen, listen, I don't mean to sound morbid here, but if you think that you might ever at any point want to sing in your life, this is a damn good time, okay? Okay. So let me hear you. Come okay. On. I, I see, see a bad moon rising. I, I see, see trouble on the way. Yeah, okay, you're really bad. You are. But I don't care. Nobody can just... Come on. We'll humiliate ourselves together, all right? I see, see a bad moon rising. There you go. I see <laughs> trouble on the way. Uh, so I, I see earthquakes and lightning. Bad times uh, today. I see the bad, bad times today. Boom, 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 don't, don't come, come around tonight. tonight. That's very good. It's bad to take your life. life. But why? There's a bad moon on the rise. Beautiful. Oh. with people at work. Fire me. I don't even find you attractive. You're in big trouble, lover boy. That's, um, <clears throat> that's my date. Um, she was expecting me five hours ago. Well, she must be worried sick. I, 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 I don't think... If I don't see you at 15, you can play with Mr. Happy. Oh. <laughs> Nobel Prize winner, huh? As a matter of fact, she is, yes. Uh. Did I thank you for coming back for me, by the way? You left me a message that you were in trouble. What was I supposed to do? Well, I'm just trying to smooth talk you here, and it would be nice if you made it easy. Well, I'm a hard sell. I know. But coming back for me was a good thing. That was, wasn't it? The Intercorp Tower will not tolerate any further breach of security. Hmm. 
it. Let's get out of here before anything else happens. Do you know some way that I didn't try? I mean, Cass will not let us out of here. Well, then we'll just have to tap into her. for geeks. Oh, uh, really? I've been in a league for years. Oops. Bingo. I'm in. What is this? I'm not doing this. There is one digit off on an ID card. Hello. And it's your card. I don't, I don't understand. I... Let me see. Well, the chip is bent. So what? Well, this could be what made Cass flip out. What are you telling me? The computer is trying to kill me because my ID card is bent? That's... That's insane! Tony, no, really. It's not that crazy. She thought you were an intruder. And she's protecting herself. She's protecting the building. Like a guard dog. Cass killed Wilson and Little Hill thinking they were me. <sighs> ah! You stupid bastard! Here. Okay? Here. I quit, Tom. all right? I quit. It's over. Unbelievable. She won't stop. You win! I quit. You win! <laughs>
thought bowling was for geeks. I used to be a geek. Time ago. I didn't call one. Did you? What do you think, Cass sent it? Well, it's pretty convenient if you ask me. Help me out here. I'm gonna get in. No, no, I can't. I told you, I'm, I'm afraid of heights. I can't. Don't look down. Uh -huh. You can take your chances with the fire. I'm getting in. <laughs> Drive like a maniac. Oh, that's it. You've seen the worst. Well, it's not too bad. Mm. It's all right. We're fine. Up and clear our heads.
the basement. Help me, Tony. I can't breathe. Linda? Security of the Intercorp Tower will be maintained by any means necessary. No further violations will be tolerated. Look. The temperature will now drop. Below 20 degrees, limbs will stiffen, then go numb. Below zero, lungs will burn. Eventually, the brain will not receive enough oxygen, and Tony Nino will be terminated. All right. I'll move. Well, see, I've been trying, and it won't accept any of my codes. Wait a sec. You mind if I break a few rules? Tony Nino has committed 14 security violations today. <laughs> Very impressive. House record. The cost of each security violation will be deducted from the salary of Tony Nino. Cass, I'm going to show you something very special. As of 1.14 a.m., the current amount deducted is $2,514,000. You have your ID card? What are you doing? Same thing I did in my office this morning. Tony Nino wrote 500 songs that never went anywhere. 500 songs? I'm glad I didn't share anything really embarrassing. Like what? Give me a card. Of course you realize that we'll never work in this building again. Oh, that, that, that really breaks my heart. <gasps> You know, music may have starved me, but it never tried to kill me. Continued tampering may damage the system. This is unfair to your fellow workers. Please cooperate. The Intercorp Tower has been designed with you in mind. Our goal is a happy and productive workforce in a safe, worry-free working environment. But we cannot achieve our goal without your help. Tony Mino, please help us. Our future depends on you. Okay, we got a beat. Now let's make a dance. I hear hurricanes a-blowin', I know the end is coming soon. I've 
fear, rivers overflowing. I am the voice of rage and ruin. What exactly are you doing? But the thing is, Korea has so many brick holes in its head, right? Thousands, probably. What happened? We glam all at all once. She overload, huh? Shut down. Yeah. Oh. You are smart human. Continued operation may damage the system. Please cooperate. Cybernetic access structure cannot tolerate any further invasion. Self-destruct mode will now commence. Tony. 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 What the hell is that? We've seen the future, and it ain't pretty. It wasn't a total disaster. Not bad for a first date. What now? Chinese food. You know, great place, open all night. You think we should change first? Not for this place. <laughs> 